what is up everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a hawaii q a i posted a video on my channel uh on october 3rd 2017 called moving to hawaii alone at 17. in the comments of this video are a lot of questions and people being like what the heck is this video <laughs> because i totally agree this video is literally just me filming my flight and hotel room that I stayed in and then like move in day for my college. So I didn't really answer any questions about moving to Hawaii. I thought I'd go through all of the comments. There is a lot. <laughs> so let's go through them and I'll answer them right now. So first off, there's a few sweet comments. People being like, oh, this is so inspirational. Like, I want to go there, which is great. Love those. I'm going to go to the ones that are like questions. So the first like main like comment thing is this one. It says, when you click on the video to get cost estimates and other information, like how much she left with and how hard it is to get a job, and she just shows you her hotel room. Yep. So this person is talking most about cost estimates and finding a job. I live on the island of Oahu, which is obviously different from other islands. So I don't know what particular island you guys who are watching this video want to go to, but Oahu is the biggest population-wise. There's like over a million people here. So jobs are really easy to find, like really, really easy. Like, you know, basic jobs like at the mall, food service, those type of jobs. Finding jobs here, I have had like, there's like no problem with it for like basic, simple student type jobs. So the cost estimate part um hawaii is expensive like 100 percent expensive and you need to know that like the food is more expensive than the mainland and rent is so expensive um i like put up on a screen like a screen recording of like zillow and like how much rent is um you can obviously get around it by getting lots of roommates getting a house finding a cheap house um it just depends on what you want and what your personal needs and preferences are um and also what you can afford lots of people i know live in the dorms some people I know have roommates, some people like live with their families who live on the island, some people are rich and bought a house or a condo, some people are renting places like I am. Um, there's like a whole range of things you can do for housing here. As for the food, food is obviously more expensive. You can get around that and find cheaper options and like marketplaces, buying bulk, Costco is good. There's lots of loopholes to get cheap things, but overall Hawaii is obviously super expensive and you need to know that. I don't own a car, so I can't really talk about what a car is like here. I just take a bus, the bus system is great. Gas is really expensive here, but it's also a small island, so you don't have to go lots of places. So if you do get a car, I don't think gas is the main problem, however there are lots of cars which means there's lots of traffic, especially west side and um, downtown, so keep that in mind and yeah, it's expensive, like bottom line it's expensive and you need to save your whole life like I did and have a plan. Um, before you come here for sure because there are lots of homeless people here. This person says, be cautious and mindful when moving to Hawaii guys. I'm from Hawaii and locals can be very mean and judgmental. Always remember that Hawaii is still in land. True. And many feel strong dislikes and hates toward the Hallies. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> uh, who move here from the mainland. As long as you're mindful and respectful, you should have an awesome time. 100% agree with that. Um, Hawaii is obviously a sovereign country that we stole and occupied illegally. As for what this person's talking about, locals being like annoyed with Hollies, like obviously yeah, because white, Hollies are white people by the way, if you like don't know. Um, some people are really annoying, they like touched sea turtles, touched all their marine life, ruined everything, pulled the beaches, um, are like so freaking annoying in like Waikiki area and like are annoying. But obviously if you like respect the land and like respect everyone's lives here, you'll be fine. The locals are obviously the sweetest, most kindest people ever, and they're very accepting. Um, just don't be stupid is basically what this girl is probably trying to say. <laughs> so next one is, how can you afford this? I'm 21 and have been working two jobs for years now and I can't. Um, it's like what I just talked about with a cost question right before this one. Um, Hawaii is expensive, that's like how it is, however, there are different things you can do and you just need a plan. I spent really, really long researching everything. Um, I did come here first going to my school's dorms, so that was um, a way to get my bearings of the island and everything and know people within the dorms and whatnot. So if you are moving here right away, there's lots to learn. There are lots of different things you can do, obviously roommates. There's lots of these videos about like living in a van in Hawaii. That's not going to work on Oahu, like, point blank, like, that's not going to work. Big Island, sure, 
probably work there but here that's that's not gonna happen so if you want to live like that whole like van life thing you can't do it on Oahu you like really can't you definitely have to get your money down like that's just like a thing however if you you know search tickets use someone's miles to buy a plane ticket um, that's like an easy option there um, taking the bus from the airport I don't know what else to tell you that other than it's expensive you need to get a job you need to know things um, minimum wage here is obviously higher um, it's not as high as it should be living here but it is higher than like Michigan or you know mainland states okay so this next person um, commented a long thing but the basis of it is Hawaii is a beautiful place to live however it's also very expensive and a large number um, who have ended up moving there end up homeless this is because of how expensive everything is and they just can't make it um, make sure you have a stable job sorted out before you move there permanently um, and make sure you save up enough money to back you up I agree with that um, however on Oahu it is simple to find a job like food service and in the mall at like Ala Moana. Um, so this person asked, is this Hawaii Pacific University or UH um, at Manoa? I am from Michigan. If you go to UH, which is University of Hawaii at Manoa on Oahu, the out-of-state tuition is so, so, so expensive and I cannot afford it. So that's why I chose Hawaii Pacific University, HPU. Um, I got a scholarship there and it was more affordable than actually some colleges in Michigan um, that I got accepted to. So I was like, why? Michigan. I'm gonna go to Hawaii. <laughs> this one says you're very mature for 17 and that is true. I was 17 when that video was filmed. I'm 20 now and yeah I'm just I personally would say I am very mature for my age. Um, I'm not like stupid with when it comes to like life like I know what I want. I knew that I wanted to come here. I remember I would like tell people in like high school and I was in my senior year like people were like where are you gonna go to college? I was like HPU in Hawaii and my teachers were like why are you sure you want to do that and then I came back like the next year after I came here and that like was successful and whatnot they're like wow it's great to see you oh my god and my school actually put a marine biology class into their school system because I came here to do marine biology so I thought that was cool and obviously it's like follow your dreams type of thing yeah I'm just like not into the stupid like drugs and alcohol shit like I, I like have a plan like I know what I want like I took summer classes I'm gonna graduate early like I know my plan and I know what I want so it obviously just depends on you I know lots of people in HPU like their parents pay for the entire tuition and their housing and whatnot and they just drink and like party the entire time and not care about the grades which is you know that's them you do you but um, that's just not me and I know what I want and I wasn't gonna like jeopardize any of that for the stupid like night out or something so this question is also about um, Hawaii Pacific University and it asks did you visit your school um, slash Hawaii before committing I'm just wondering because I'm a senior now and I'm planning to go to either UH or HPU in the fall, but I haven't been able to visit either school yet. No. Um, so when I came here when I was 17 uh, was the first time I had ever been to Hawaii ever. Um, same with my family. Um, no one has ever been here. This was a very, very, very bold move on my part. I went off of like the one YouTube video I saw from someone before I moved here um, and my gut I was like I feel like I should go to Hawaii I have a scholarship it's gonna be cheaper than a college in Michigan it's marine biology which is what I want to do and it's in Hawaii which is like the closest area to like marine biology and like the best so I was like this is what I want this is like my dream I'm gonna go for it so I just got a one-way plane ticket and went to Hawaii for the first time alone <laughs> at 17 which was a bold move but it all worked out and I love it here I should mention that it is different for everyone um, my roommate and other people I knew in college had a big problem with moving here um, it's an island so it's like contained and people get island fever and want to leave and they, they're like oh my god I'm on an island I'm in the middle of Pacific Ocean I can't do anything I want to go home miss my family blah blah, blah. that wasn't me um, I love it here I feel like I belong here um, this is my home that's not it for some people which is fine I had five roommates um, and then me in the in the my dorm room um, and all of them went back except one <laughs> so like went back home um, and transferred colleges so that's just like a little insight um, it's not for everyone period um, it's an island it's a different lifestyle for sure um, and it's just depends on what you want so this person asked Aloha do you go to HPU yes I go to Hawaii Pacific University HPU um, it's a private university um, so their tuition is the same for in-state and out-of-state um, which is why I went and since they're a private university they give lots of scholarships at least that's what I 
have known from like everyone. <laughs> I got a huge scholarship, which is why I decided to come here. So this person says, I want to move to Hawaii so bad, but like I don't have the money and also I don't know if I could be away from my friends and family for that long. So that's what I was talking about with the whole island fever thing and people wanting to move home. I had one friend in high school. I'm not a type of person that um, was in lots of friend groups, had close friends. I had one friend in high school and I have one friend that I made here. I literally have two friends. So that's just who I am, like I am a shy person and when I open up to someone I like want them to be in my life forever. <laughs> so I have two friends. <laughs> I never really had to deal with like missing many people. Obviously I miss my parents but FaceTime is a blessing and I don't know, I, I just don't get super homesick. It's just like a personal thing honestly. Another person asked what college is that because I'm currently searching for colleges in Hawaii and the dorm is looking nice. So I lived at the Waterfront Lofts um, at Hawaii Pacific University. Um, I lived in a triple room which is like the, at that time it was the most and the most amount of people in a room and it was the cheapest. Um, and then there like that, so that was the top room and then below was um, the two other people and we shared like a common living space and bathroom. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I chose. As for other colleges on Oahu, there are community colleges. Um, BYU on North Shore, UH of Manoa obviously, and I think that's it for Oahu. The main two schools are UH Manoa and then HPU, public and private. This person asks, um, what kind of phone service do you have um, and does it work well on the island? I found that Sprint service didn't work well in Kauai. So I've been to Kauai um, with my cousin um, last year and my service was the same as it is on Oahu and I have AT&T so I would just go with that. Um, I think Verizon is good too um, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Um, AT&T works pretty much everywhere on this island and it's great and it's worked really good so far. So this person says I'm going to start HPU um, in the fall and I want to know how you got from the airport to the, your hotel. Um, I had a panic attack when I was trying to figure out how to get a cab because I could not figure out how to leave the airport. I was there for at least an hour and a half trying to figure out how to leave um, but I just got a cab. Once you get out there's like there's a street, there's a median, and then there's another street. You go to the median and there's like curbside um, cabs there. Um, there's also Uber available now. There wasn't when I um, first got there, but they have introduced Uber to, um, to the airport. Um, and then there's also buses, which is probably the cheapest option because cabs are so expensive, especially if you go all the way to Waikiki. If you are just visiting um, and taking a vacation, I would look into a hotel that has a shuttle service. So you could just get on the bus, like the shuttle from the airport and go straight to your hotel. Yeah, if you're going for the cheapest option and you are, only have um, carry-on, take the bus cheapest option. So the next question is how do you bring all of your stuff? So I actually mentioned this in my previous video which is um, how I moved to Hawaii. Basically I took all carry-on luggage so I took um, a carry-on rolly suitcase that I put in the book compartment, um, a backpack, a purse, and my camera like around my body and then also a jacket tied around my waist um, that had zip pockets that I put more stuff and then I shipped four boxes via UPS um, which I talked about in my last video, but don't use UPS because that's so expensive. Um, use the flat rate um, priority mail boxes um, to ship things if you want, um, that's a lot cheaper. Uh, so this person asked, which hotel is this and what is the daily rate without the discount? It's called the Aston at the Executive Cent Center um, in Honolulu downtown. So that's the hotel that I stayed at when I got here for one night before I moved into the dorms. I'm not exactly sure what the rates are, but if you do go to HPU, they do have a discount code for a few hotels, which I talked about in my last video as well, um, and I just used one of those, and yeah. So this person asks, um, how did you find a place in Hawaii um, at 17 years old? Honestly, I don't think you can get a place if you do come here alone at 17 if you're not going to college. I'm pretty sure that there's like laws against that, unless if your parents like co-sign on something. I cannot speak for that, so I'm sorry, but if you are going to college, um, I went to a dorm and that's obviously fine because there are minors that go there um, but I obviously was turning 18 in a few months anyway so it was fine. Uh, so this person asked why did you leave at 17? My parents had a choice to either put me in kindergarten like a year later or like then um, because of my age. I was born in October 1999 so they're like mm, what do we do so they put me in kindergarten early so I've always been like the youngest in my classes which people are like making fun of me for but like people are like you know 22 and still in college and I'm like 20 and like graduating in December so I just had a set goal and this is what I wanted so I just like left and went to college um, 
yeah that's the why I left this person says I want to do this so bad where I'm scared I'll regret it how's your time so far it's great <laughs> I love it here it's amazing it's definitely my home uh, however it is different for everyone so I cannot speak for you it's a personal experience like I said earlier I know lots of people who get um, island fever and leave um, that's just not me um, but it's again just a personal thing and then the last um, one is does anyone know the hotel name which again is the Aston at the um, executive center downtown it's a like condominium and hotel area um, I like pop up on the screen like what it is and whatnot but yeah I was just the closest to my dorm room so that's why I chose that rather than going to one in Waikiki because I did not and could not afford to get a, a cab another like transportation it was just easy to get that and like walk to ATM uh, which is a short distance so yeah those are all the questions on the video I hope that answered uh, most of you guys' questions. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>